In this video, we're going to take a look at solving equations by factoring that do not equal 0. Now, we found the zero product rule said if two things multiply to 0, one of them is 0, which means before we factor, the equation must equal 0. So we're going to have to move some terms around from the left side to the right side or the right side to the left side. And to make the factoring easier, we will want the x squared or a squared, whatever the variable is. We want the x squared term to be positive. When that squared variable is negative, the factoring becomes a little trickier. It still works if you're really careful, but if we don't have to go there, we won't. So if we see 5x squared equals 2x plus 16, we want it to equal 0. So we can either move the 5x squared over to the right, but to do that, we'd have to subtract. That would give us negative 5x squared. Oh, we don't like that. Or we'll move the 2x plus 16 over to the left, and that'll keep the x squared term positive. So what we need to do is subtract 2x and subtract 16, doing the opposite operation. That'll make it equal to 0. But if we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other side. Subtract 2x and subtract 16. No like terms, so we have 5x squared minus 2x minus 16. It now equals 0. Don't lose the equals 0, because if it doesn't equal 0, we can't solve it. Now we're ready to factor it. First times first equals first. The only way to get 5x squared is 5x times x. Last times last equals last. Uh, 16 might be 4 times 4. Let's see if that works. Just checking it real quick. 5 times 4 is 20x. 4 times 1 is 4x. Is that going to give us 20? I mean, sorry, is that going to give us 2? No, it's not going to give us 2. So the only way to get 5x squared was 5x times x. So maybe we need another way to multiply to 16. Uh, maybe 8 times 2. 16 is 8 times 2. Let's see if that works. 5x times 2 is 10x. 8x on the bottom. Can we use 10x and 8x to give us the negative 2x? We can. If the 10 is negative, so the outside, 10 is negative, and the 8x is positive, and ag again, very important, we still equal 0. 5x plus 8 times x minus 2, we've now factored it. So it equals 0, then we factor it. Now we can set each of the two factors equal to 0. 5x plus 8 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. And we can solve these two equations. Subtract 8 from the first one. We get 5x equals negative 8. Divide by 5, and x equals the fraction negative 8 fifths. Or, in the second equation, add 2 to both sides, and x equals 2. We've got our two solutions. When x equals negative 8 fifths, or when x equals 2, the equation 5x, the expression 5x squared will equal the expression 2x plus 16. Let's look at a second example. Here we have negative 2x squared equals x minus 3. Well, again, it doesn't equal 0, so we can't do anything yet. We want the x squared to be positive, so this time let's move the negative 2x squared over to the right side. That'll make it positive 2x squared. So we get rid of a negative 2x squared with a positive 2x squared on both sides. That'll give us 0 equals 2x squared plus x minus 3. No like terms here. So. Now we're ready to factor 0 equals. Again, always use the 0 equals. The only way to get 2x squared is 2x times x. 3, it's either 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. Let's just guess 3 times 1 first and see how it goes. 
2x times 1 is 2x. 3 times x is 3x. Can we get positive 1 with that? We can if the 2x is negative, that's the outside, and the 3x is positive. So now again, we've got 1 factor, 2 factors equals 0. We can set each factor equal to 0. The 2x plus 3 equals 0, or the x minus 1 equals 0. S simply solving these by subtracting 3. 2x equals negative 3. Divide by 2, our first solution for x is negative 3 halves. Adding 1 to both sides gives us our second solution for x. x equals 1. When we're solving equations by factoring, the equation must equal 0. Make the equation equal 0, factor it, and set each factor equal to 0.